investing money or are you investing time? Because there's two different things and it's really hard to do something in between where you're trying to do both. It's very difficult. I worked full time for the university for about 26 years. A student of mine and I created UCSB.edu, so that's my big yay for that one. And uh, what I found is I had, you know, real estate stuff going on, investments for the last 30, 40 years. And as I got closer to wanting to get out and do this full time, I had to figure out, well, how can I, you know, separate my time? How can I work full time for the university and do part time stuff here during the day? And can I go off on a break and make a phone call? Can I do this? Can I do that? Am I sitting in the bathroom again too long? And people are going, hey, are you really doing business in there? What's going on, you know? Very difficult. And so uh, the sooner you can transition into full time, it's great, but you need a flexible job that you can cut your time back. Because if you go to your boss and say, hey, I'm working five days a week, but I want to work four days a week because I'm really looking at uh, creating my own business in real estate and I want to go do my own thing. If you tell your boss that much information, they're probably going to say, well, why don't you just take five days off? You know? <laughs> yeah. If you're not going to be focused on this business and my business, I don't really need to. So if you're doing that transition, look for a flexible job, but I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time telling people what I'm doing. Okay? Not your boss, but the people you work with. It's kind of like multi-level marketing. You know, if you're doing that today, why would you drive everybody that you know crazy when you've got the whole world with the internet? Just don't go there. So as I went down, as uh, my daughter said to me recently, well, Dad, you told me that everything that we do in life, you would give me like 50%, you pay 50% of it, because that's my deal. You know, whatever you want, hey, it's your life, it's your world, I'm just living in it. But if you want something, just tell me what you want, and I'll pay for the other half. Well, that worked out pretty good, because that stopped a lot of I wants. Because now it's like, oh, I have to pay half? And she said, well, I want to be an attorney, and I want to go to Harvard. And I said, that's great, okay. I'm for all that, I'll pay for half of that. And she said, half? I gotta pay for the other half of Harvard? And I said, it's always been 50%. And she goes, mm, let me think about it. She came back the next day and said, no, not Harvard, that's too expensive. Why you know me? Hey, you said like one minute, hey, what's going on? We're good, we're good. And so you can plug right in here if you want to. Yes, please. Okay. And I'm gonna give you an HDMI connection here. Beautiful. Okay, let's just step out on top of this one. $30,000 and your rehab 
is 25 and it goes over $20,000, how much you make it? You lost money, correct? Who makes money still? The contractor? <clears throat> is there any contractors in here? Good, I can talk crap about you. The first three letters is con. Con tractors. Okay? I didn't want to be a contractor because con tractors. Don't ever let them see another man's bid. Because they'll always say, let me see the bid they have. And they'll bid you low, and then they'll work you, order you up. So be careful on that, okay? I teach from the heart because I love what I do. And what I'm going to teach you today, you can take it to any state, moon, wherever you want to take it, it'll work. But remember something, everyone gets paid except you. I run 12, 7 to 12 houses at a time, in homes. I'm in, in Ventura, I'm in, in Hawthorne. I'm in two in San Bernardino, one in Fontana. Be careful of Palm Springs because that's a certain market. I'm in Hesperia, in Rialto. So I'm everywhere. Okay? Sound like it? So you think I drive a lot? Yeah, I drive a lot because I check up on my rehabs. Okay, I check my rehabs. Because who else is going to check them? I have my guys going out, but I'll show up. Anybody see the movie Mr. Deeds where that butler showed up all of a sudden like that? I show up like that. It's like, you're here? <laughs> I hear them talking crap about me too. It's like, <laughs> but you know what? I show up with tacos. I show up with water. I show up with burritos. I show up with stuff too. Okay? You gotta remember something. If I am doing a rehab and I'm your contractor, and I say it's fifty thousand dollars and we put a con and make sure it's a contractor's and you see him bonded, we're gonna go over all that. How much do you give me up front? I want twenty five percent possible. I want twenty five percent. That's too much? How much are you going to give me? That's why I'm here to teach them. You give them two to $3,000 to start the job. Then after two weeks, then you give them 25%. Then after probably a good two other weeks, and if everything's in place and where you want it, you give them 50%. And then you do not, do not, do not give them any money until the job is blue taped. What's blue taped? Blue tape the home. You walk through, and, oh, you know what? This wall is bad. Blue tape. You know what I hate? You ever go into these nice homes and, the, uh, and all these, they're like crooked and stuff like that? They're not, the outlets are all like crooked, they don't look good? Who picks the house out? The woman or the man? <laughs> you better say woman. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> I do. Remember, you always have the last word. Remember that, sir. Yes, dear. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Keep your rehab simple. Right? <clears throat> what does that mean? The do's and don'ts. Paint, flooring, kitchen, landscaping, knobs. This is what you want. This is your first rehab. A lot of you haven't flipped a home. You want to flip a home because you can make millions of dollars selling real estate. Flip and go broke. Remember, Linda, I said that? Flip and go broke. <laughs> Think about what I'm saying, and you'll understand later. <laughs> Don't. If you're not a seasoned investor like me, I flipped, my team and I flipped over a thousand homes, from Texas to Phoenix to Southern California. That's a lot of homes. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of checks. That's a lot of water bills, wow. landscaping bills, insurance. If you buy, I'm gonna, I won't pick on you anymore. Right? <laughs> okay, so I buy a house right tomorrow. I close escrow cash. Do I need insurance on the house? Yeah. Okay. You get insurance on the house? Yeah. Does the escrow care if you get insurance on the house? I don't know. No. Because it's a cash deal. Yeah. You know how many people on my bus tour, I'll say, how many people have insurance on their home right now? And they're like, we need insurance on our home. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when the house bill burns down? Yeah. Right? What happens to that disgruntled guy that sees you building his house? He's like, Lost that house because of realtors made me. Oh, I'm gonna burn your house down. There's psycho people out there. You can watch the paper. Yeah. No additional, let's see, tear downs, kitchen remodel, roofs, foundation, stuff like that. Be careful. Those can tear a deal apart. The key to the deal giving big value. Like that? How about that? That to that. Does that look nice? Like, oh. Uh, Right? Really nice. The tree is gone. The tree's gone. You 
got it. I, okay, don't tell anybody, my wife's not here, but I use her red heel shoes sometimes when I go into a house because I got to think like a woman. So I put her pumps on, walk around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do. Don't tell her. Got a visual. Got a visual. Got a visual. I got that visual. <laughs> Easy. So I bought the fat No. no. <laughs> because now I would put the apple cinnamon. Oh yeah, yeah. The apple cinnamon. And then you open the cupboards and it smells like lemon. Uh, make sure there's no cockroaches there coming out. Because that'll kill a deal. I get I have people lined up to buy my phones because I get value. And don't let all these rehab shows and tell you, oh you know what I want to paint this wall green and this wall. No, all my houses are coffee cup cats because I can use the same product the next house in the same paint. If you paint this house green like this room green. My furniture don't, oh yeah, look, it's brown. But I'm just saying, what if you have like white capital that would work too? What if you have like just different couches that won't work in here? The lady's like, yeah, I want to, you know, I'm get new furniture. The husband's like, no, I just buy you a house. So it's not going to look good. You give sandcastle walls, four inch baseboard, nice lights. Now, now, now remember, this is a woman looking, now remember, you're looking for a kitchen window doing your Dishes, right? You do dishes. <laughs> you do your dishes, and all of a sudden you're thinking of little Johnny, Johnny and everything. Little Johnny and Deborah outside. I'm like, oh, they're playing right there. Doesn't that look real nice? Did I get some value in the backyard? You don't always have to do this unless you have it in your budget. Because 90% of the time, when they walk in the house, they want the house and they don't really care about the backyard. In today's market. But I like to get like, you know, I, get, I have good people. I think people are going to, they look at the house and they go, yeah, okay, okay, I'll repaint this or I'll change that. Remember something, when you go in the house and you open a door and it falls off the hinges, or you ever put book on the house and open the slider and the slider keeps going? <laughs> yeah. That's bad handyman work, okay? I love my walls. I make sure my walls are just beautiful, textured, nice. But there's, it, my guys hate for me to come in the house. They're blue taping the house before I even got there. I have the trade. <laughs> not sanding it. Know your numbers. How much is this? How much is that front door right there? Three hundred dollars. Let's get around three. Let's see what it is. Three eighty-four. I like that. How much is a six-panel door? That's for inside the house. Six-panel door. One seventy. Framed and everything. One seventy-four. I love you. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna do your, I'm gonna do your doors in all your house. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> Seventy bucks. Wow. Okay. <laughs> to, yeah. I'm gonna do all your rehabs. <laughs> That's why I know your numbers. Seventy dollars for the door frame. How much for a knob? For that. It's ten ninety nine. How much to frame it with the wood around it and everything? That's fifteen bucks. Okay. So how many doors do you have in your house? Right. Do the numbers. If you don't know how to do the job. Then that's why the con artist will take, or I mean, contractor will take, will take over you, and that thirty thousand rehab will be at fifty, and you lose money every time there's a work change order. You lose money. Does that girl lose money? Title, contractors, agents, no. Door handle, twenty nine bucks. How much is the outlet? One outlet. Nineteen dollars. How much? Nineteen dollars. I want how many houses do you have? How much is a toilet? Everyone knows how much a toilet. Everyone uses one every day. Unless you know you're constipated. Huh? How much is a toilet? Hundred dollars. Come in there, fifty, fifty five, hundred. Ninety eight plus. And that's like a a PP Cooper one. The one and two. How much is a faucet? 50, 80 bucks, 148. I use some nice ones because that's another showpiece. Think about it. That faucet that pulls out. And when you're a little kid, you like wet your brother when your mom's not around. I don't know, mom. I think there's a leak in there. <clears throat> Contractors. <laughs> I'm sorry. And they know me too, but they love me though because I help. You know what? My contractors love me because if they need money or extra money. Because they've done so many flips. I sponsor their daughters and cheerleading. I do all this. You treat everyone equally in this business. 
I don't care what anybody says on TV. Love your agents. Love your contractors. Treat everyone equally. Okay, just because you wear a Rolex and you drive a nice car doesn't give you the right to be better than someone. Okay? Find the right contractor. Interview at least three. Why three? Keep them honest. Keep them honest. Get bids and references. Please get references. Okay, if you don't know anybody, get references. Are they licensed? Why is it ensure that why make sure they're licensed? They went, they took a test, they're good, they're licensed, so that way they have a business or they can use lose a license. Very important, are they insured? Because you can sue them. And bonded, why? Why is the bonding the most important thing? No, because that means they you can sue them for a bond that most likely is at a million dollars. Okay? Bonded, these are very important. Working with contractors, Get everything in writing. I would go through the house and come through the house again. Because I hate when you go through it and it's like, oh, I didn't see that. You didn't see that. Now it's your word against his. Mm -hmm. Establish a timeline and pay line. I already said talk about the pay and the progress. Stay in contact. Okay, you have a house. You have a house going. What was your name? Vince. Vince? Vince. <laughs> and you have a house going. You buy it, how, in, in one week, how many times do you stop by the house? Now, you have 300,000 of your money, cash in that house, and you're gonna make 40 grand. <coughs> your eyes are like, yes, 40 grand. Yeah. How many times a week are you gonna go by that house? Every day. Every day? That's, a, that's really good, but I don't think you have enough time to, to do that. Let's, let's go make it time twice a week, twice a week. Depending on where the house is, correct. Let's just say, most likely you're not buying a house Remember, you live where you want to live, and you invest where it makes sense. Does that make sense? So there's a bunch of houses in Santa Barbara for $250,000 out here, right? No. <laughs> where? You're like, where? You're like, on the beach? I have my app going through, it's like, two million, three million. You know what I mean? Going by all the way here, it's like, this app's not working correctly. You're going by 250, 150, 160, yeah. Right? Do you think million dollar homes take longer to sell than a $300,000 home? Yes. Absolutely. Is there a lot of people that can afford a $3 million home? No. no. <clears throat> so we think, right? Let's think what's going on in the business. <laughs> Your first rehab. Get a home inspector. If you don't know what you're doing, get a home inspector. There's guys out there who'll do it for like 150 and inspect the home to make sure the bones are okay. <coughs> Roofing. Can a roof kill a deal? Yeah. yeah. Foundation kill a deal? Yeah. Can what else can kill a deal? Windows? Electric. Think about this. Electric. But what about windows? What about windows? What's the average size of a window needing to be in each room? It has to open 21 inches. You know why? America's got a little hefty in our bellies. And you have to be able to get out of the room. Egress. So I, I bought a house that were all new windows, and didn't bother to look at it, and they were 19, and I had to replace all the windows. Ah. But I still made 40000 on the house. But it didn't matter. Okay. Do you pull permits on homes? Yeah. Do you need a, a permit to put in a water heater? Yeah. Electrical outlet? Yes. Roof? Yes. Yes. Okay. That doesn't mean you can get those guys at Home Depot to put your roof on Sunday yeah. with no permits. Okay? Can you hire people from Home Depot that are standing on the corners? Um, sure. You sure can? Okay. Officer. <coughs> you just put four illegal aliens in your car with. You can. You put four illegal aliens in your car with no visas to work in our country. Who's gonna, they're going to get shipped back. You're going to get a fine. You understand? Understand what you're doing in rehabbing. Rehabbing is the most important part of the deal. And you'll understand. Can you spot anything? Ask a lot of questions. You're hiring this guy. 
you like a little kid. <clears throat> what is that? Why did you call that out? Why is this? Why is that? Why is that? Ask. Empty mouths don't get fed. Am I correct? Didn't your mom tell you that one day? Empty mouths don't get fed. Take notes. Take notes. You're the boss. You're the boss of the company. And you have all these other bosses that are going to help you run your business. But you want to run. You're in control. Like Janet Jackson, control. So never think about that song. So you get an accepted offer. What's the first thing you do? Cheer. Cheer. <laughs> What's the, the first thing you do when you get an accepted offer on 123 Main Street? Open escrow. Get your team there. You have already no. You're going to open escrow right away, right? So you've gone and checked this property, and you think the rehab's $25,000. You have a seven day to do your due diligence. You check the property with your team. Who's your team? So this is after the home inspector has told you everything they know about it. Now you bring in your crew. And then they... And now your crew comes in, and you make sure your numbers are correctly done. Understand? So that means you have your home inspector. He helped you out. But not every time you're going to have that home inspector that are the home inspector. I recommend it if you're new. Maybe you're two, your first three or four. But you still need to bring your team to see what they see. Do me a favor. <coughs> if you're flipping a home, make sure you get in the attic. Please make sure you get in the attic. They're, the appraisers and everything are calling out more things for our beautiful, our beautiful state. They're just calling out more things. Okay. Make sure you get your permits pulled. If you do not have a permit pulled and they stop your job, it's a thousand bucks a day. Would that eat into your profit? Creative line. Once you have a plan, walk through with everyone, video, audio, whatever. Make sure you've walked through the whole house, outside and in. Make sure they go on the roof. Make sure you do not find something down the line that's going to hurt. Anything that happens later affects who? You're the baller with the money, they think. And they don't know it's a hard money loan. Right? Don't drive up to a, okay, if you have a Mercedes, drive up in an old beat up truck or something. You know what I mean? Look, yeah. look like them. Uh, and even though they do well, what I'm saying is don't be flashy and draw, you know what I mean? Because that means like I can take more money from you. Because I've been on both sides of the fence. And if you're an idiot to me, I'm going to find more work so you have to pay me more money. Ha ha ha. Right? Get it in writing. First step to rehab. You put on the walk. So remember, make sure when you work with your contractors and everything, make sure the utilities are on. Does that make sense? And who turns on the utilities? They the realtors. Yeah, they will. Because you don't want all of a sudden, when you bought the house and you turn on the utilities, there's a water gusher coming out of the middle of your house. Am I correct? Start your landscaping right away. The front. Because you want that grass green. Right, ladies? Green grass? Get insurance. Now, you've got to get insurance three days or four days before the house closes. Because a lot of members, they're insuring a house that's by itself city. So a lot of times, they have to, your, and I think it's only farmers that will send it to the fair plan and it takes three days to give them a price. So you want to make sure if you close on Friday, so let's just say you're closing the house on Friday. You have insurance Thursday on that house. Make sense? Because if why, something... Why wouldn't you have insurance while they're working? No, no, I'm just saying, if you're closing on Friday, you're going to have insurance on Thursday evening. Okay. You have insurance already on it. Already. Okay, because it, it's already there. The now, I've got a question for you. When do you change the locks on that house? I'll tell you a story. My, myself and my contractor went in. We closed, at, we closed the house. <coughs> we went there at 7 in the morning. We'd be closing around 10. So I tell the realtors I'm changing the locks. I'm changing the locks because what happens if you close at 10 and you go, go into the house at 10 and the air conditioning stuff's missing? Whose fault? Yours. You bought the house. Title, it's recorded. That's your fault. Understand? 
One time we went in at 7 o'clock, my guy has a bunch of trash in the back of his car and stuff, and I hear, come out with your hands up. He said, Rob, can you see anything? Is that your phone? <laughs> you know, people have their phones like, I look out, and there's, there's cops outside. So I go outside, and I said, well, I'm buying this house, but it's not my house, but it's going to be my house. He says, you own the house or not? Well, I'm buying the house, and it's supposed to close today. I said, well, call the realtor and call my realtors. Now, I don't know about your realtors, but I don't know any realtor that wakes up at 7 in the morning. <laughs> she answered her phone. And it's so funny because I helped that cop do a deal. <laughs> short sale this house, we helped him, it was funny. But the thing is, that's what happens. We go change our locks right away, and we jump on the project. Pull permits. Keep a maintenance record and schedule on everything you're doing. Find out when things are, are, should uh, be done and follow up. Hey, uh, you know, I know the house is demoed and everything, so when are you starting to paint? It's your, it's your project, guys. It's your, it's your baby. For your men, pretend it's your car that you're fixing up when you were a teenager, putting those rims on it and everything, making it look nice, mm -hmm. right? That's how you think about it, men, right? Yeah. Women, pretend it's that blanket that you were, I used to crochet too, but anyways. <laughs> pretend it was something that you like, you really like, but it's, it's gonna make you money. It's gonna make your money. Keep your eye on your budget, and that's very hard to do. The budget's very important. If you have $30,000 to play with, and your budget goes over 10000 who lost money? You did. Every time they ask for more, your wallet gets more empty. And it's a really, really, I know so many people that do rehabs, and they'll only make $5,000 after four or five months. Do we have a 30 day, do we have a 90 day flip rule into effect if you're a first time home buyer and you can't sell the house for 91 days? We do. That's into effect for your first time home buyers. Keep that in mind. What's the average rehab taking right now? Flipping homes. What do you think? From, from beginning to the sale of the house. What's the average? Six months. Six months? Six months. Uh, five months. Five to four, five, five months. Why? Because I see escrows going to 45 days. 45 days, I don't know anything about a 30 day escrow right now. They're 45 to 60 day escrows, I'm not looking. I'm not lying. And they're falling out a couple times. <clears throat> well, Anthony, you know, they should be qualified. You can't help people. If someone buys your house, they almost said they want to buy a brand new car, then the escrow checks it again, you just lost, right? The numbers don't work out. You just closed one in 17 days. You closed one up from a total flip? It was, it was a new purchase. So you bought it? Open escrow, closed. And you flip, no, no, but I'm saying, no, okay, that's fine, but I'm talking to flip property. So did you fix it up? Uh, no, I funded. Okay, no, so no, the thing is I can buy a house in 14 days. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying if I bought this house here, I can buy my houses within seven to 14 days. I can buy a house in one day if all the stars line up forever. <laughs> you, you can't, because we've done it in one day. Months, but, but what I'm saying is, but just, but what I'm saying is you buy the house, you have a 14 day escrow, you close it. Now you rehab. Okay, your rehab is like 30 days. Now it's on the market for 45 days. Or excuse me, it's on the market for a week. Now it's an escrow for 45 days. Does that make sense? You're flipping a project. That makes sense. I think that's what I'm getting at. So that's another mortgage payment at least. Too. Remember, hard money doesn't say easy money. I want to use hard money. Think about this. I'm not shy. I bought a house in Upland. June of last year, 200,000. I barely sold it last Friday. I made $40,000. Really? If I didn't have hard money, if I had hard money, I would have made negative like $10,000. Yes, negative $10,000. <laughs> Think about what you're doing when it says hard money. That house I bought, it was at the corner 7-Eleven right here, a laundry mat. There was another house here, and over here was a, uh, it was an uh, apartment complex. The city wanted a hundred percent envelope, or excuse me, a letter to give to the uh, uh, the lender that says it's a hundred percent rebuild letter. So if the house burnt down, that it would they could rebuild it again for a hundred percent. But they were only giving me 50-50. So finally, a venture, uh, a VA loan came in. They didn't need that letter. And we sold it. One year. That would throw your. What did I say? Nine out of ten people are gone. 
from flipping homes. You notice these flipping these homes commercials are like six o'clock, five o'clock, four in the morning. <laughs> right. Desperate people.